If you want a cheaper astrophotography setup, travel ready setup, I think there is nothing beyond the new MSM tracker. I'll show you guys how this will work. I wanted to thank Celestron for giving me a shout out on Instagram and Twitter uh, for my Triangulum Galaxy picture. I used Celestron 14 Edge HD with Hyperstar uh, for this picture. Thank you again. Hey guys, so this is my new k and concept tripod, pretty lightweight. And here is my Astro photography bag. I'll show you what I have here. So I have my camera, battery charger, this is Rokinan 18mm wide angle lens, it's actually a fisheye lens. We'll come to this one. This is the newer intervalometer, I think this will click my camera. So this is the laser. So this is my new mount. This is called Move Shoot Move MSM. A very small mount, like a pretty lightweight. I bought a used Astro modified T4i. This is my camera. That's pretty much what I have in my bag. So I'm carrying filters in this one. This is um, astronomic H alpha 6 nanometers filter. It's a clip filter for the Canon EOS cameras. So this ball head comes with the move shoot move tracker. And all you have to do is slide the tracker into this. Okay, so actually you can see right now in the front here, all you have to do is uh, turn the mount on. So I will try to zoom in. Right now it is north and it is star tracking. That's it. The mount is now on and it is doing that star tracking so that it gives me longer exposure. Inside this camera, I have a SkyTech light pollution filter. My camera is ready. So all I have to do is uh, So let me show you how to install the laser. The laser beam here, right? The green light, right?
So this works like a wedge. Okay. So all you have to do is point this by making this ball head a little loose and then turn the laser on towards the sky and then position it towards the polaris and then once you are done just lock the ball head when you turn the laser on and if you are looking into the sky and when you move that towards that polaris and then when you lock the ball head here now your mount is uh, polar aligned that's it it typically takes three to four minutes to align this just to make sure you get it right and then you can turn the laser off you can move the camera whichever the object that you wanted to take a picture of you can i never knew astrophotography is going to be this simple i'll show you guys the picture that i took using this setup if you like this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel click on the notifications button